Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Rich, uh, Rest Talk straight from Japan and today we're going to do a review on Transformers Animated Grimlock. Yes, I know I have Human Alliance Bumblebee here, but he's here to illustrate a point. And first question I'm going to ask is, what is wrong with this picture? I'm going to give you a few seconds to mill around that so you're going to see it. All you need to see is the front portion, so I'm just going to show you. Maybe rotate a little bit. All right, time's up. It's missing a windshield. Now, why am I bringing this up? Maybe you know I'm going to lead into this, so let's go ahead and go straight to our actual figure that we're actually reviewing, and that is good old Transformers Animated Grimlock. There he is. Kind of unstable. He has good, interesting ball joints. But why am I why am I concerned with him? Why why is it a big deal? Why did I point out that opening vignette about a missing piece? Well, guess what? Look at his chest. Why is there a gaping hole in his chest? That's what I'm trying to find out. And that doesn't end right there. Look at his side there. Trying to get this lighting kind of weird. There's an obvious gap on his side. What is the deal? Seriously, look. All right, I can't forgive those flaws. Some people can actually look over those, but to me, that is something that it should have not have been there to begin with. It actually should have covered G1. I actually have the G1 version right here, and look at it. See? No gaping freaking chest. It looks good. That's the way it should be. All right, you might have some little kibble over here, kibble issues and whatnot. You can actually see the legs, but it's no big deal. They cover the face rather well. Why could they have not done this with this figure? It's a little confusing, but that's okay. I'm, a, I'm all right with that. Well, I'm not really all right because I'm ranting about it. But other than that, it's not that bad a figure. It stands up all right, but with the ball joint, it kind of has some limited, kind of a limited, there we go. It's standing up rather well right there. So other than that, it has good light piping on the eyes. I know you can see that, so let's go ahead and zoom in. Yeah, look at that. Good light piping. All right, you have the nice color scheme as always. Nice brown gold color scheme. Beautiful uh, brown burgundy coloring over here. And that's pretty much it. As far as articulation, you know, the mouth moves up and down, and that's kind of neat. All I have to do is press this lever right here. Pretty good. Looks like he wants to chomp on something. Ah, look at that, got my screwdriver. We need that later on. Legs move up and down. They have some kind of artic yeah, not articulation per se, but they just move up and down. Uh, arms don't move too much. And that's about it. So let's go ahead and transform them. It looks pretty good as it is. The transformation is pretty much G1. So all I have to do is split the tail, just like we normally do. And in the back, there's another issue right there. Look, at that. It has a nice little gap in there for some reason. But instead of starting over here, actually move it from the top over here. These actually become not exactly heel spurs, but it does give some actual... It actually makes the foot bigger, so it's easier for him to stand up on. And it does peg in right there. Beautiful. All I have to do is now rotate it 360. Actually, it's already 360, so we're good on that respect. So it does have waist articulation. Move the entire, I'm going to move the entire top portion down. I'm going to rotate this, split the halves right there. There is a little tab over here that goes over here, but it doesn't actually work. It's actually just move the head piece straight down. Then, voila. It actually tabs right in here. This little piece right here tabs together and it connects, sort of, kind of. All right, we're almost done. Take the, take the torso, slide it up. There we go. Split the halves together. I like to put the little arms back. Okay, speaking of the arms, the legs become the arms. They're a little long, so basically we'll, to correct that problem, we just push this in real quick. The little feet actually become claws, so we do do it for both sides here. 
Same thing with this, just push it in. Complete come claws. All right, fantastic. Okay, not bad looking robot, must say. So let's go ahead and just push that out. Fantastic, it looks great. I keep saying fantastic because the robot mode is a lot better looking than the alt mode, the dinosaur. All right, it does have a little gimmick. I'm trying to get this lighting all right so it doesn't like obviously glare. No, that's the second time that's happened, that's okay. But on the left arm, there is a little, it, he actually does have a sword, and there is a tab on the arm over here, or the left, oh yeah, the left hand rather. Actually, it's the right hand. I'm looking from a different point of view. So all we have to do is just pop the sword right here, and it should pop out. Well, it actually did it without it, so that's okay. All right, sword gimmick kind of a, uh, kind of weird it just basically popped that out so I'll show you that again because it did it on its own and basically when you pop it in to his arm it just basically pops out just like that pretty neat pretty nifty little gimmick let me just go ahead and attach the sword and while we're waiting let me go ahead and review this all right not a bad looking figure so I'm not going to lie to you I really like the figure the robot mode redeems himself he does have pretty good articulation. He has knee articulation. Let me just go ahead and show you. Knee articulation right there. Can swivel over here almost 360 degrees. It can bend at the knee. It has hips, hip actually rotation. Very nice. Arms actually do move up and down. They have elbow joints right there. No bicep swivel, however. But his shoulder socket is on a ball joint, so it does have good 360 degree articulation. He does have waist articulation, even though it's not needed, but kind of need to have regardless. So, so you can actually put him in some good poses. And yes, actually, there we go. All right, so the robot mode, definitely better looking. Looks a lot better than the alt mode. So I'm going to have to rate this. Here we go. Robot mode right here. Let me put the lighting off of him so that you can actually enjoy or make it look better. Okay. Let me give him a 8 out of 10 for the robot mode. The alt mode, 6 out of 10. And that's all I got for today. And I am signing off.